Hi, welcome to this video on Solving Trigonometric Equations 1. Before you watch this video, I highly recommend you watch Solving Trig Equations, the introduction, and I go through the cast diagram, and I'll show you sort of the basics behind that. In this video, I'm going to go straight into using it. Okay, so our first question says, solve cos theta equals 0.4 for angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to work, put our, diagram, our angles on the cast diagram, and we're going to work out the inverse cos of 0.4 to begin with. And when we do that, we do the shift cos of 0.4 and we get that's equal to 66.4 degrees to one decimal place. So that means in our first quadrant, our angle is going to be 66.4 degrees. So we're going to put that on the cast diagram in all four quadrants. So putting in your lines like so, and we'll mark in our 66.4 degrees, 66.4 degrees, 66.4 degrees and 66.4 degrees and each of these angles represent either 0.4 or negative 0.4 depending on which quadrant you're in so we're going to start from zero and we're going to, we want to find obviously where this is positive 0.4 so we want to find out where the cause of this angle gives you a positive answer so let's go through our quadrants and identify which ones would give our positive answers so a they're all positive here so a would give us a positive answer for working out the cause of 66.4 our answer would be 0.4 the next quadrant, well, only the sine's positive, so no, not that quadrant. The next quadrant, no, only tan's positive there, no. And our last quadrant, cos, uh, cosine is positive, so this quadrant would work also. So our two angles that we're interested in would be this angle and this angle. So we're going to start from zero and we're going to work our way around anti-clockwise. So starting from zero, our first angle is 66.4. So we'd write down theta equals 66.4 degrees. And our next solution, well, if we go all the way around, we're going to ignore this one because that'd be negative. Ignore that one. That's negative. And we're going to get to this angle here. Now, obviously, that's going to be 360 degrees subtract 66.4. That would give us that this angle for all the way around here would be equal to 293.6 degrees. And that's it. So there's two angles between 0 and 360 degrees that if you work out the cause of it, it would give you an answer of 0 0.4. And obviously we've rounded these, but our answers would be 66.4 degrees and 293.6 degrees. And that's it. So let's have a look at our next question now. So next question, solve tan theta equals 2.5 between our uh, angles between zero degrees and 360 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all work out the inverse tan of 2.5. And when we do that on our calculator, so the inverse tan or the arc tan of 2.5, we get an angle of 68.2 degrees. So 68.2 degrees. And that means that our angle in the first quadrant here will be 68.2. And let's mark it in all our four quadrants. So putting the lines in, and marking it will be our angles of 68.2 degrees, this quadrant, 68.2 degrees, 68.2 degrees, and 68.2 degrees. And if you want to recap as to why we're marking in these angles here, definitely watch that introduction video. Okay, so starting from zero, well, first of all, we want to find out this is positive 2.5. So obviously these angles either, or these angles here represent either 2.5 or negative 2.5. So we're wanting the ones that give us 2.5 whenever we work out the tan of them. So that the positive quadrants would be A, the first one, not S, T, that would be positive, but not C. So it's the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So let's go around from zero. So our first angle would be 68.2. So Vita is equal to 68.2 degrees is our first solution. And if we carry on around, our next solution would be here, which would be 180 degrees plus 68.2, which would be 248.2 degrees. And they would be our two solutions, our two angles, that if you work out the tan of them, that they would get an answer of 2.5 between zero and 360 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Now this question is a little bit different. Well, first of all, it's sine of our two examples before being cos and tan. But this angle, whenever we're working out the sine of it, we're going to look for negative 0.19. So first of all, again, what we're going to do is we're going to do the inverse sine or the arc sine of 0.19. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out the answer in this quadrant anyway. Okay, you always do this inverse sine cos of tan of just the positive value here, whatever this value is, but positive. Okay, so we're going to do the inverse sine of 0.19. And when we do the inverse sine of 0.19, we get that is equal to 
0.95 degrees. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mark that on the cast diagram. I don't know why I've done that to two decimal places, but I just have. So I'm going to mark that into two decimal. I'm just going to mark it on the cast diagram. So the angles we're interested in are either this one, 10.95 degrees. This one. This one. And this angle here. Okay, so again, we start from zero. Now, before we do that, we need to find out which angles we'll be interested in. So obviously, if we start from zero, we're interested in this angle, this angle, this angle, and this angle. And they would either give us 0.19 or negative 0.19, depending on which quadrant we're looking at. So obviously, we want negative. So we don't want the first quadrant because that's where they're all positive. The second quadrant, well, sine's positive, well, we don't want that. The third quadrant, well, tan's positive, so that means the sine will be negative, so we do want this quadrant. And the sine is negative in this quadrant also, so we want that quadrant as well. So we're going to want the angles down here. So we're going to start from zero, and we're going to work our way around. So Vita equals either 190. 0.95 degrees. We've got that by just going around and getting that angle there. And if we go back to zero and we go all the way around to here, we will get the other negative angle or the other answer, which would be negative 0.19, which would be 360 subtract 10.95, and that would be 349.05 degrees and these two angles if you work out the sign of them you will get negative 0.19 as the answer obviously they're rounded but approximately that okay so just because it's a negative all you would do is you would still do the inverse sign of whatever the value is here um, and then the negative sign just means you know which quadrants to go to to get those solutions okay let's have a look at our next example so our next example is to solve 2 cos Vita equals 1.4. And we're looking for angles between 0 and 360 degrees again. Now this question is a little bit different because we've got the 2 in front. So what we're just going to do is we're going to divide the equation through by 2 to begin with. So that will give us cos Vita equals 0 0.7. And then you would just solve it just like the other one. So we're going to do the, uh, the inverse cos of 0 0.7. First of all, to find the angle in the first quadrant. So when we do that, the inverse cos of 0 0.7 is equal to 45.7. Six degrees, so 45.6 degrees. We'll mark that on the cast diagram. So let's put that on the cast diagram like so. So again, 45.6 degrees, 45.6 degrees, 45.6 degrees, and 45. 0.6 degrees. Now it was positive 0 0.7, so we we're going to find the quadrants where that is positive. So where is the cos positive? Well, it's positive in the first quadrant and it's positive in the last quadrant. So we're going to start from zero and we're going to go around and get this angle and this angle. So starting from zero, our first angle would be theta equals 45.6 degrees. And this angle down here would be, well, it's going to be 360 minus 45.6. And if we do 360 minus 45.6, we will get 314.4 degrees. And these two angles, if you were to do the cos of 45.6 and multiply by 2, you should get 1.4, approximately. Obviously, these are rounded. And if you do the cos of 314.4 and then multiply by 2, you should again get 1.4. And that's it. So if you have an equation, a trig equation, where there's a number in front of the cos or the sine or the tan, you can divide through uh, to then just get the cos vita equals and whatever and just do the question as normal. Okay, next example. The next example, uh, this time we've got solve 4 sine vita subtract 3 equals 0. And again, we're looking for angles between north and 360 degrees. So in this equation, what we're going to do is we're going to add 3 to both sides to begin with. And if we do that, we're going to get 4 sine vita equals 3. And then we're going to divide by 4. So we're going to get sine vita equals 0 0.75. And then again, we're going to solve it like all the other ones. So we're going to do the inverse sine of 0 0.75. And when we do that, well, when we do that, we're going to get... Oh, I've gone straight to draw it. Whoops, it is. Uh, so if we do the inverse sine of 0.75 and uh, we get that's equal to 48.6 degrees so that's equal to 
48.6 degrees. It's the angle in the first quadrant will be 48.6 degrees. And then let's again mark that in in each of them. And remember, it's always the angle above the 180 and below the 180 and above the zero and below the 360 like so. Again, the introduction video sort of explains that. And we want to find the quadrants where the sign is positive. So sign is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So we're going to start from zero and we're going to go around to get the first angle. So Vita would be equal to 48.6 degrees. And our second angle would be 180 subtract 48.6, which is equal to 131.4 degrees. Okay, and our last example. I like to so ask examples a little bit different. We've got tan squared vita equals a quarter. So in this question, it's a little bit different because we've got the squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to square root both sides. Now just remember, if I had the equation x squared equals 25, if whenever you're solving this, obviously x could be equal to plus or minus 5, because obviously 5 squared is 25, but also negative 5 squared would be equal to 25. So whenever you're squaring this, you've got to be careful because you will have the positive and the negative solution. So tan vita equals, now the square root of a quarter, well a half times a half is a quarter, so that means it's going to be a half, but obviously it's going to be positive or negative a half, because obviously you could have the positive or negative solutions. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation like before, but we're going to find all the positive and the negative solutions. So that'll be all our angles on the cast diagram. So we're going to do the inverse sign of just the positive value, so the half, the 0 0.5, and that will give us whenever we do the inverse sign or the arc sign or inverse tan or the arc tan of 0 0.5, that will give us 26.6 degrees. We'll mark that onto the cast diagram. So we have got 26.6 degrees, 26.6 degrees, 26.6 degrees, and 26.6 degrees. And in terms of the quadrants, well, the tan vita is equal to positive or negative a half. So that means that we're looking for any quadrant where it's you know, either positive or negative. Because remember that these angles will be the angles whenever you do the tan of them that you get either 0.5 or negative 0.5. So we want the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So that means that Vita will equal 26.6 degrees. This angle here will obviously start from zero and you work your way around. It'd be 180 subtract 26.6. So 180 subtract 26.6, which would be equal to 153.4 degrees. Our next angle, this quadrant, was well, going to be 180 plus 26.6, so that'll be 206.6 degrees. And our last quadrant was well, going to be, if you start from zero all the way around, it's going to be 360 subtract 26.6. So 360 subtract 26.6 equals 333.4 degrees. And I like those questions just because you get so many solutions. And that's it. So that is Solving Trig Equations video one. Um, obviously there's an introduction video as well. Perhaps I should have called this one video two, I don't know. <laughs> and then the next video, Solving Trigonometric Equations two, sort of shows you how to use some trig identities before you solve the questions. And that's it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, uh, please like, comment, and yeah, thanks very much. Cheers.